Do you know where the North Pole is? You're probably thinking here. Well, there are actually two. Earth's geographic North Pole is fixed, but the planet's magnetic North Pole, the north that your compass points to, is not. It moves over time due to magnetic changes in the Earth's core. It was first measured in the Canadian Arctic in 1831. Since then, it's moved about 2,300 kilometers toward Russian Siberia. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the British Geographical Survey tend to update the location of the magnetic North Pole every five years. But this update came early because the pole is traveling faster, more than 55 kilometers per year. Compare that to the year 2000, when its speed was 15 kilometers. If the pole isn't accurately located, the consequences could be disastrous. Let's start with smartphones. They use measurements of the Earth's magnetic and gravitational fields to work out the location of the phone. The difference between geographic north and magnetic north might be small in the UK, less than 2 degrees, but in Brazil it's much bigger, greater than 20 degrees. Phone users in those areas could quickly become lost if the software didn't correct for declination. Airport runway names are based on their direction in relation to magnetic north. For example, the airport in Fairbanks, Alaska renamed a runway 1L19R to 2L20R in 2009. And the U.S. military also uses magnetic north for navigation and parachute drops. So that's why knowing exactly where the magnetic north is is actually kind of important.